but in the past there have been either you know teases about what might come and obviously this movie has an end credit sequence in for you is there a story you're really hoping to tell with psych four or are you right now waiting to see what feels right when the official order comes in I think what feels right and what the timing is and and how everybody is feeling and where Tim is at and all of those things are always going to be uh, real considerations. But what I will say is I think we've been very mindful to craft these first three movies as true extensions of uh, the series and to sort of root them in character, make sure that we're not uh, straying too far uh, you know, from the formula that that worked so well for all those years. But if you recall in the series, once or twice a season, we would do episodes that were departures that kind of stepped outside of our comfort zone. Um, you know, something like the, the yin yang trilogy, although, it, you know, it lived in the universe of psych, it felt different. Those episodes felt different and it was very fun for us to do something different. So I think after three movies, we've probably earned uh, the right to 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 do the movie version of of one of those episodes that felt like a bit of a departure. Uh, I don't know what that means exactly, but I know I I know I would be excited, uh, you know, to pivot and and do something that felt a little more standalone, so that when you look at the movies all in a row, you know, you got to have one that's like, well, they they definitely stepped outside of the the zone on that one. Um, it can't be the last movie, we know that. Um, we don't know how many of them there's gonna be. So uh, I feel like the next one could could be decent timing for us to, to do something that feels a little bit of a, like a little bit of a departure. Steve said he wants you to do as many as there are Fast and the Furious movies. So I feel like you guys might have a long way to go if everyone's still on board with it. Um, but would you be looking at potentially more of like a pop culture homage kind of standalone thing or something more just tonally standalone? I think we did both in the series yeah. to, to, varying, to varying degrees of success. But yeah, it, it, it could be something that tonally uh, steps outside of what we're used to. Uh, it could be one of our sort of... Uh, tribute you know to a to a, a film or a format or that we haven't done yet in a bubble um i mean the advantage to doing something like that is that you don't have to dedicate you know x amount of real estate to catch everybody up with exactly what's going on in everybody's life right like you, you when you have these little interstitials between the movies you always feel a responsibility to sort of like check everybody and and uh tell the fans how everybody's doing and where they are in their lives and that accounts for like the first act of every movie so what if you don't have to do that for one movie because you just you drop them into a situation and everybody kind of has to play catch up um or you do a time jump i mean there's so there's a lot of different ways to do it where it would just be like boom uh go and uh i think we could probably get away with doing doing one of those <laughs> 